Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Danger and I'm here today with our, my friend Karen Costas and she's um, offered to share some in great insights with you and so I think that you're really going to enjoy it. Karen has been building her Mary Kay business for at least 40 years and she ha is a personal team member of um, Shirley Hutton who's just just a um, one of the top people in, in Mary Kay. I'm sure you've probably heard about her. And she's an executive senior sales director, has been driving a free car forever. I don't even know how long, and maybe she might know. But um, first line sales director to Shirley Hutton and has just an incredible story to tell. So I'm going to start with asking her some questions, and she's going to share. Um, the first one I wanted to know is, how did you get introduced to Mary Kay at all? Okay, um, I was first introduced to Mary Kay, the product, through my girlfriend, Marilyn Marino. And um, through that class, uh, Shirley Hutton was asking for referrals, and Marilyn gave her my name. And uh, so that's how it all started. And then she came over to visit with my husband and I, very smart lady. And so she told us more about the Mary Kay career and what it's done for her. And uh, my husband kind of went like this. He said, you know, I think you'd be good at that. And I'll buy your showcase for you. So I thought, well, okay, nothing to lose here, and I need to get out. I need more money. I want more things for my kids and for for myself. We've driven old cars, and she was talking about new cars, and I thought, hmm, could that be me? It's just hard to even imagine. I've, I've always known you as just a really totally put-together person, very fashionable, very um, just on top of things, and... Um, I just can't picture you being a stay-at-home mom and having the two little kids and having your, I adore Karen's husband, Carlos, is just a sweetie, but I can't picture him being the one to make the decisions. Mm -hmm. And um, now I always see Karen pretty much decide stuff and he, he thinks he decides, but we know that Karen decides <laughs> a lot of things. But um, anyway, it's been a really neat thing there. So it's I want kind of your, your words to fame, Joyce. Show me the money is, is what your keywords are. <laughs> and I think that's what Carlos related to, <laughs> is show me the money. So, yeah. um, well, we'll talk in a little bit about how you showed him the money. <laughs> so I do want to know, though, in the Mary Kay world, who was your, like, who did you really relate to or who were your role models in the Mary Kay world? We get inter introduced to Mary Kay in many different ways, and uh, the woman who recruited me was tall, thin, beautiful, had a gorgeous house that I was like, oh my goodness. But you know what? She was too beautiful, and I, I was, you know, Hannah Homemaker with sweatshirts and blue jeans and what color sweatshirt to wear today. So somewhere along the way, I was introduced to another wonderful woman by the name of Arlene Lenars. And there was a video of her or at a career conference or something, and she was one of the keynote speakers. But she was so nervous that she was drinking water after every other sentence, and I could relate to her. So she has been a very special lady to me. And today, after 40 years in Mary Kay, we still share jokes and emails, and, you know, she's still part of why I love this business. That is really neat. It is neat. That is just amazing. And Arlene is also one of the top people in the company and has retired, and she's a national sales director emeritus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that is so friendships is a key word for me in this business. I mean, how could, how could I have such a relationship, one of the top, highest-paid women, and I was, you know, Hannah Homemaker, and yet, it is what it is, and it's part of why I love this business so much. So what other benefits? You mentioned relationships, friendships. Um, what would you say the big benefits to Mary Kay has been for you for the 40 years? Well, in the beginning, you know, $50 a week for someone who had no money at all. We actually had five envelopes for the month. So much for food. <laughs> so we were on a tight budget. So thinking, you know, even having $50 that I didn't have to tell Carlos where it went, and it could be for me, it could be for the house, it could be for the kids, but it was mine. So that was quite enticing. Okay, so that was the beginning. What mm -hmm. other benefits? 
oh, the benefits were ones that I didn't even know existed at that point, were the, the deep friendships that I have developed with people in Mary Kay, like Joyce. You know, I would have never met Joyce, and we're best friends, we're girlfriends, we're sisters. And, you know, that's probably the higher up on my list than even the nice money that I make. But I understand it all works together. You know, it's not one without the other. So it is a gradual development of yourself and your relationships. And the more you do, the, the people you hang around with, I think, is very important. So um, I was lucky enough to, to be with the top, one of the top women in Mary Kay. And she was a big thinker. So that was good for me to learn what that really meant. And she painted the picture enough so that I could believe gradually that I could have a nice home and drive a nice new car. And, you know, it's, it's, it's who you hang around with, really. And I was willing to go to the meeting and allow Carlos to take over the big responsibility of feeding the children, which basically meant they went to McDonald's. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, but most importantly, he developed a relationship with our children that would have not happened if I was the stay-at-home mother, do everything. And so blessings like that, you just, you know, you don't even know about. So what was the question? You've answered it completely. Okay, good. So that is great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, the other thing that we had talked about, I'm looking at my notes as we did talk about some of the things that may have made a big difference for you, is when you took your business to a new level, so you decided at some point you were going from this consultant who was happy to make $50 extra a week, and somewhere along the line, you decided you wanted to become a sales director. How did you make that decision or realize that maybe you even could do that? How did you start to see that bigger picture? There were two things, Joyce. Number one, um, Mary Kay had tossed out a challenge, which is wonderful. And for some reason, I accepted it, and it was to do a 10-class week. I had maybe done one or two a week, pretty much what I wanted to do. And uh, I accepted that challenge, so I did it, because I told Shirley that I would do it, and I'm a woman of my word. So I got 13 classes on the books, and it was good that it was 13, because a couple of them canceled. But I did that 10-class week, and it... Uh, the money was stacked up on my little table there, and each day Carlos would, <laughs> you know, add it up. So we, we, I think at that moment he decided that, yeah, that's good, Karen. You can really maybe be one of those director people. Because if I could do that, anyone could do it. And I mean anyone. So, you know, sometimes it's like you have to do that challenge kind of thing. And, you know, educate yourself. Yet, yeah, Wow, yeah, <laughs> wow. And so, so that's, that's how I decided to treat Mary Kay more like a business than a part-time piddly, which I basically was. So that that's, was that point. And as far as the other one, which was, the question again, Joyce, was what? We were talking about moving from becoming a part-time consultant to deciding you could be a sales director. And to I remember be, you were talking uh, about yes, a yes. video or a movie or something that you watched okay. or that you dreamed about. Uh, okay, I remember now. Okay, what it really was, Shirley had to go out of town and develop another in another area. So she asked me if I would do the meeting for her. And I said yes. And I'll tell you, the day of the meeting, I spent most of the day in the bathroom. I was so nervous. But I did get ready for the meeting and uh, once I started the meeting and welcomed everyone and got to brag on them and to just, oh, it felt so good to be an encourager and an uplifter that I did, it was a whole new feeling. I loved every moment of it. So that's what being a director is, that you encourage others, you build self-esteem in others and it, feel, it felt good. So that's, that was the key that Shirley probably didn't know. Actually, she told me she didn't after I said, now, did you really think I could do that? And she said, not really, but I didn't have anybody else. And I laughed, and I said, you changed my life by delegating. That's so, you know, 
it's sometimes just funny. But <laughs> I guess I think that God has a part in that and that he yeah. knew what you needed. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. That is great. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to take a little break and come back to you in just a little bit. So okay. thanks a lot for joining us, and we'll be back. Bye.